let me take a minute to kind of just review the concepts here. I'm hoping that this was discussed already in class with your teacher, but here's a short idea of why this all works. The concept of what happens in mini golf and why it relates to reflections is a lot to do with the idea of the angle the ball travels at and the angle it, it bounces back at. The idea is this, that if a ball was traveling at this angle and hit an obstacle, it would return back at the exact same angle. This is called the angle of incidence. This is the angle of refraction. And if you can kind of look at it, if I can hold it carefully here, the idea is that there's a reflection here. Do you see it uh, in the imagery there? So it comes in and it leaves at the exact same angle. So the idea is that if we can perform these reflections, we'll be able to determine the angle that we would bounce directly at. Let me show you down here. There's a lot of students that see a little mini golf course here. They want water and an obstacle over here. They say, I'm going to hit it over here. So they would pull out, say, their ball and their club and say, I'm going to whack it right about here and say, ah, oh, it's going to go right in the hole. See, I'm good at this uh, mini golf stuff. Uh, that's not going to happen. And here's why. This angle here, the angle of incidence, is not equal to the angle of refraction. Now, it would even be worse if, if a student uh, was to think that... Uh, they were able to maybe shoot it up here. Now that is a trick shot into that spot, and then it just starts wheeling backwards. Not going to happen. Another student says, well, maybe I'll shoot it over here and it'll bounce straight in. No ball is going to come in at that angle and then shoot straight sideways. Not a chance. What's going to happen is somewhere in here is our answer group, and we're not going to guess it. We're going to determine it mathematically. So let's, let's show you how to determine it mathematically. The idea is that, oops, is that um, you are able to do a reflection of this hole and aim towards the, the hole's reflection. Now that kind of sounds a little sketchy. Why, why would that work? Well, let's show you here. Uh, we're going to pick up our reflection tool. We're going to click on that segment there and reflect our hole over that. And there it is, reflected. Now, you say, you can't aim at that. The, the, it's going to hit this brick here. You're right. Watch what happens. As I aim the ball towards the hole's reflection, it doesn't make it. It hits the brick and then it bounces. Now, it doesn't bounce at any angle. It bounces at the exactly same angle. Take a close look. Angle of incidence, angle of refraction. Now, this is hard to read, and I apologize for that, but you're going to see that things are measured the same. I think that says 61.99, and if I measure the other angle using my tools, it is also 61.99. They are equal, the angle in and out. Now, why did that work? Because as you made that reflection, you can see the two, the angle maintains itself. And it kind of there's an isosceles triangle form there is what's happening. This is the same as this. And so it works perfectly. This is the, the essence of how and why we learn reflections and match it to mini golf. Now we're going to show you how to apply this to solve a few problems. But this is one of, this would be one way to knock the ball into that hole. That would be one way to do it. We'll look at some other ways shortly.